so this is the shelving that I built last year and I got some lights in here so I could start some transplants. But as you can see, it is set up real goofy because I had to do it kind of last minute. And then I just kind of stashed a bunch of my garden stuff in there, but I pulled it out so I could organize stuff. And then I have got to rearrange these lights so that they work better for the spring. The reason I have them together like this is because the light itself fits between these, these supports here. But what I didn't take into account is that the plug at the end, the electric plug, it sticks out far enough that it, it doesn't go in here. So what I have right here is just some Sane twine to hold this up and it makes it really hard to easily, you know, lower or raise the lights up and down. And um, so I've got some little hooks and then I can take this chain and put it on the hook and then kind of easily be able to lower and raise the lights. Uh, so the long story is this folks. Originally, Tyler said that what I needed to do was just go ahead and get new one by four boards, cut them longer and make the shelf wider so that I could fit the lights plus the plug sticking out the ends. But I thought to myself, there's got to be an easier way to do this. So that's when I came up with the idea of going ahead and drilling a hole in the side so that the plug could stick through, right? Except it did occur to me that there's no way then that I can move the lights easily up and down. This is kind of in a fixed location. So then I thought, well, screw another hole in here, take a sawzall, make a slot so it could move up and down. And then it occurred to me that if I ever wanted to move the lights, change the number of lights in here, then I would be stuck with that fixed location. So I thought that's not gonna work. I thought maybe I can take the lights and I can turn them this way so they run this way but then they stick out too far and the plugs run up and down through here. And so I thought, okay, well, maybe I can change the upright and make it skinnier, but then this becomes less stable and then I have to re-screw in all these mounts. And then I thought, okay, if I'm gonna have to go to all the trouble of cutting all these new boards, I might as well make this shelf longer so that I can fit two sets of lights in, right? But this space is not wide enough to allow for that. So I went to the hardware store and bought new one by fours and I cut them to longer lengths. So these right here are 24 inches and the ones I cut are 27 inches and I measured and remeasured and measured and remeasured to make sure that I had enough room with the plugs. So now what I need to do is get all this junk off the shelving again, pre-drill the ends of the one by fours and screw them in and then I can start playing with my light setup. Okay, very first thing is I got to take these lights down and out of here. I put three of these lights together just so that they, you know, they could stick the little plugs through here. And I put one tray under like that. And that was pretty jolly. And this distance is from light to light is four inches and I'll be moving these, you know, putting a fourth light in here. And the plan is to put two trays in like this. So, okie dokie. these two foot boards I'm just gonna stash outside and you know under the eaves and I'll be able to use those for something else
so I got all four lights up and I was talking to Tyler about how I wish that they would go up farther. I had the hooks underneath. And so he said, why don't you just go ahead and put the hooks up here and then it'll go higher. So that really helped with that. He also pointed out that this ring right here is a split ring, kind of like a keychain, so that you can put the chain in like that. I had this pried open. I mean, first of all, just to get the chains apart, but um, I went ahead and squashed those back down and put it through the ring. And so now it's secure. There's no way it's gonna fall off of this. And then I just hook the other end up here and I can move that down if I want to lower the lights. So there you go. Not 100% even there, but pretty darn good. Last year I got two boxes of these lights. Each box has six lights in it. And I got this idea um, from watching a video. Um, I didn't end up getting the same type of light, but it's the same barina or however you, however you say that. And um, so it's got six lights in it, all packaged up. I've already got the, the six lights that I put up last year. So this will give me 12. That'll give me four sets of light per three shelves. And it comes with a lot of, like you can hook these in series with these, these are pretty long um, wires, but whatever works. And then you can also set it up so each, you know, light or whatever has, there, there are three on off switches that you can plug in. I only use one and then I set them all in series. And um, and then they've got like uh, little clips that go onto the lights. You have to kind of you have to kind of assemble these, um, but it's not that hard. And um, there's uh, little directions in here. It's pretty basic. There's also like some zip ties if you want to do that, or some. 3M sticky stuff if you want to do that. Some, so some different options for, for you know, mounting the lights. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put these together. All right, so these lights are two feet long. That's all I had space for. So that's the length I got. Each of these lights has a little piece of plastic that you wanna pull off. Oh yeah. And then there's these kind of shields and there's a little groove along the edge here. Where, and um, this uh, shield kind of has like one edge that fits into that. Oh, <clears throat> we'll be going like that. And so, I just want to throw that in there. Gah. And it just slides in. There's no real stop for it, so you have to kind of just set it equidistant. And groovy end here. There we go. And just slide it in like that. And then that's done. Yay. And then you've got these two clips like this with a little split ring. And you just clip that on, clip, and on the other end, clip. And then your little guy is ready to go on its chains. Alrighty, so done, done, and done. This one light in the front is not on because I didn't have enough of these connectors but I can probably just use one of the, the switch wires. So that is the only thing that's not done. I'm not sure if these near and far lights are going to, you know, make it so that the plants 
kind of in the front and back, kind of lean, you know, have to lean a lot towards the light. See what I'm saying? So, may have to do an adjustment, but we'll see how that goes. So last year, I had to take some kitchen towels and put it in front here so the whole room wouldn't be pink all the time. But anyway, so I still need to do that, but do that some other time. This will be good for my cucumbers, my basil, Maybe my orange if I want to grow it inside at first. And also if I want to kind of start some lettuce early. That's a few months from now. But yeah. So should have enough lights to do all that. 